Yo, Darius Britt here. So a lot of you out there may be in the market for a tripod and you might not have a lot of money to slap down on a pair of sticks. I get it. I've been there. Lately, I've been kicking around this three pod V3AH tripod. It's under 80 bucks. I shoot micro films on occasion and sometimes I don't want to take, you know, big bulky tripods. I just want to keep it light. Now this guy had some high reviews on Amazon and a few of my friends had one. So I figured I'd give it a spin. Psh, why not? Six months later, I'm actually still using it. So I've had a lot of time to field test this little guy. First and foremost, it's a fluid head. Great for film and video. We got the slide and quick release plate with the locking mechanism. You don't want the camera taking a spill. People aren't perfect. The plate comes with the standard quarter, 20 and 3 8 camera mounting screws. They've even got spots to store any screws you're not using. We've got a 50 millimeter bowl mount, makes leveling a cinch. If you're shooting video, this is a must. We've got pan and tilt knobs, built in bubble level, check. We've got an adjustable handle that you can mount on either side of the tripod head, love it. I really like the leg locking system, easy to latch and unlatch on the fly. This is more than I can say for some other tripods around this price range. It also comes with a nice little baggie. The max height is 61 inches. Now an $80 tripod with this much height, you got me. We've got rubber feet to prevent slippage on flat surfaces. They're also great for protecting your flooring. The max weight capacity for this guy is 14.5 pounds, if I remember correctly. Frankly, the odds of you exceeding this weight capacity are highly unlikely, unless you're using a fully rigged out cinema camera. It's made of anodized aluminum, tough stuff, pretty lightweight. But can you get smooth pans and tilts? Yes. Will this work for YouTube videos? Yes. Small shoots and short films? Yes. Travel videos and vlogs? Yeah. New to filmmaking with a limited budget? It's for you. Would I take this on a big commercial shoot with a big budget? No, I've invested a lot of money into other gear. I would use that. Sometimes you really gotta crank down on this mounting screw at the bottom of the bowl to make sure it's tight. If it's not tight, the bowl slips when you pan and tilt. You've gotta tighten the mounting screw at the bottom of the bowl really tight to avoid this. Now this doesn't happen all the time, but it happens often enough for me to mention it. You can't really increase the drag on this guy so that you get more resistance when panning. You can still get smooth shots with this, you're just gonna have to get used to it. Definitely not a deal breaker. Also, the tripod is made of aluminum, but the locking tabs are not. They're made of plastic. Yes, you can break these bad boys. A friend of mine did, so be careful. Is this the perfect tripod? Of course not, but it's a hell of a deal for 80 bucks. And if you're in the market for a budget tripod, you gotta get on it. You can find links to this bad boy in the description section. And also, thank you for watching. I hope you guys found this useful. D-Brit out.